Hello, welcome to the Santa Barbara County Food Action Network's first Food System Resilient Grants information session. During this presentation, I will share some history about the network, including the Food Action Plan. Then I will provide you with information about the network's very first Food System Resilience Grant opportunity. Let's begin with the Food Action Plan. The Santa Barbara Food Action Plan is a community-driven strategic plan that assesses and provides recommendations for how we grow, distribute, consume, and dispose of food. Spearheaded by the Community Environmental Council and the Food Bank of Santa Barbara County, the plan was developed in 2015 and 2016 and involved over 1,200 hours of volunteer work from over 200 community members. The ultimate goal of the Food Action Plan is to future-proof how food travels from farm to table. Future-proofing is the process of making our food system more resilient to uncertainty in our future. So why did we need a Food Action Plan in Santa Barbara County? Well, less than 1% of produce grown in Santa Barbara County is actually consumed here. According to David Cleveland, a food systems researcher at UCSB, 95% of the foods and vegetables consumed in the county are shipped in from elsewhere. In the years following the publication of the Food Action Plan, CEC and Food Bank continued spearheading efforts to carry forward the Food Action Plan goals, and in 2019 launched the Santa Barbara County Food Action Network. The Santa Barbara Foundation served as a major partner in initial and ongoing work and continues support through grants for projects that create positive change in the local food system. The Santa Barbara County Food Action Network was launched to connect, align, and activate countywide food system actors to develop a robust local food economy, a healthy and just community, and a well-stewarded, resilient, food shed. I like to tell people when they ask me, what is a food actor? Well, do you eat? Well, then you're a food actor. We all are participating in the food system in Santa Barbara County. So now that you've heard a bit of background about the Food Action Network and the Food Action Plan, let me provide some background on the Fall Food System Resilient Grants. Santa Barbara County Food Action Network Fall Food System Resilience Grants are given to support the achievement of Food Action Plan goals by contributing to the broader food systems of Santa Barbara County. In the near term, organizations supported by these funds will be able to activate and expand their current objectives. In the longer term, funds will collectively build a resilient county-wide food system. The collective action of food system change makers will build the solutions we need now. The funds, provided by the Santa Barbara Foundation and regranted by the Food Bank of Santa Barbara County are awarded by the Santa Barbara Food Action Network through a process of research, planning, due diligence, and evaluation. The network consults with an external volunteer committee whose expertise ensures an equitable and impact-driven approach to the review process. Now let's talk about the focus areas of the grant program. Grants will be available to nonprofit organizations providing programs or services that address and or achieve one or more of the Food Action Plan goals. Funding can be used for one of two areas, instigate, which is for new collaboration, so multiple partners in research, planning, or project activation that lay the foundation for future food system initiatives or create opportunities for impact at different scales. The other area is for GROW. GROW is for the expansion or development of existing and proven food system programs, models, and organizations that leverage established resources or partnerships. Let's be clear, GROW is for projects that can be collaborative or an individual organization or initiative. Instigate is for collaborations, multi-partners alone. Priorities for both focus areas will be given to applicants 
where funds will strengthen the network and not limit its growth, so collaborative and not competitive. For projects and or programs that take into account external shocks to the food system, such as the COVID-19 pandemic. And finally, if they demonstrate cultural competence by being responsive to and in coordination with the constituency being served. And now for some information about the funding amount and the duration of the grant. The maximum award for these grants is $25,000 with no minimum requirement. The grant period is up to one year from the award date. Instead of a final report, grantees will be required to attend a convening with other recipients to learn and share about your work in 2021. It will be amazing to get together in a safe, socially distanced way to talk deeply about lessons learned and opportunities created. You will also be required to provide written information about your grant, such as in the form of a survey, which is currently in development. Timeline. The call for proposals will be released on Tuesday, October 13th. The application deadline is on Tuesday, November 10th, and funds will be awarded in the month of December. In order to be eligible for this grant, applicant organizations must be a certified 501c3 or use a fiscal sponsor with 501c3 tax status. Funds will serve constituents within Santa Barbara County, and the impact of the funds can be measured and reported upon. We're looking for quantitative data and or qualitative data. For more information about eligibility criteria, please go to www.sbcfoodaction.org forward slash grants. To apply online, go to our website at sbcfoodaction.org forward slash apply and fill out the online application and submit via the portal. If you have any further questions, you can contact me either by email at grants at sbcfoodaction.org or by office hours listed here. I look forward to answering your questions and to reading more about your incredible projects. Good luck.